Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how you can install and configure Artolant in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually Artolant is a bit torrent client for Linux. So in order to install it, it's pretty easy. Here I'm using Ubuntu, so in order to install it, I have just to issue the command sudo opt gate install then the name of our client which is rtorrent me I already installed it so nothing will be downloaded okay so it's already installed so in order to launch the program you need to configure what is called a resource file here I'm on my home directory as you can see issuing the command print working directory I'm in home I mean uh, if I list the content as you can see here there is a file called rtorrent.rc which is a resource file for that program so you can download this program or actually this file from github okay you will find the link in the description so you all you have to do is just to copy the content of this file and to save it in your home directory but don't forget to name it .rtorrent because it's a hidden file so but before that you have to create three directories so I'll create my first one always in my home directory called rdownload okay downloads which will store all my downloads actually okay I'll create another directory called R session which is the directory session for my program and finally I'll create a directory called R watch okay so if we list you can see that I have created the three directories indeed so now you can open your resource file so I will open it using gedit and actually this is a configuration file for your program here there is a, for example the minimum peers the maximum peers so you can leave the default or change as you want but the most important things are the directories here you can specify the default directory to save the download torrents as you can see I, I have already created the R downloads directory and the tilt means actually my home directory so this is the first uh, folder that I have created the second one that I have created and also the third one called R watch there are a couple of actually options that you can add for example the port range you can specify from 60,000 you can also start opening ports at random here I specified option yes and at the bottom you can find enable THT support if you want with the port but with the port number okay but you have to keep in mind that the most important thing to configure in this file are actually the directories the three directories that I have created here okay so now let's launch our program and see if it works okay so I will launch it our torrent okay now I have an error it said the R session file doesn't exist so I will check once again my file here it's called .r session but me I just uh, make it without dot so I have to remove the dot okay here is the file so I have to remove this dot here so it's always good to troubleshoot and to see the problem that appears I'll launch it once again oh okay now it's working 
So as you can see here, I want to download a file. Let's for example download the Ubuntu torrent file. Here on my desktop, I have downloaded the torrent file. Now I will use my rtorrent client in order to download this Ubuntu file. So the first thing to do is to hit your enter key. So after that, you see at the bottom is waiting for the path to your torrent file. So you can just specify it home. I mean uh, desktop and the name of my torrent file and then I hit enter now as you can see the file appears at the top so I have to select it using the up down in my keyboards as you can see now some asterisk has appeared in front of it and now in order to launch the download mechanism all you have to do is to press Control S okay now as you can see at the top there are some information for example here the number of downloaded data here the size of my file my Ubuntu file actually just next to it is the upload speed then the download speed okay and here near the end you can see the remaining time so these are the most important uh, information that you need okay so now my file is downloading using rtorrent if you want to check for example your location for your download file you can go to your home directory and rdownload as you can see now my file is being downloaded okay You can also, while opening the program, use the right key in order to see all the peers that the program is downloading files from with the speed. Okay. You can return back to the, your state normal using the left key. So you can switch between them if you want to see more details about your torrents. And in order to quit your program, you have to press Control down Q for quits. Okay, so now my program is stopped and now is quitting. So that was just a brief introduction to this amazing uh, BitTorrent client. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.